Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this episode we uh, refurb the two D-pads for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. You have seen the previous video. I put the link in the description if you want to see this. And so uh, the D-pads are very yellow but working. So we uh, make a a disassemble, a cleaning, retrobriting, um, reassemble these two pads and then we test this out. So let's start it. So here we have the two SNES controller from the SNES. We refurbished in, a, uh, in the last episode so on this one works totally fine it's a little bit dirty and a little bit yellowed this one has damaging on the select and the start button and the start and the select button doesn't work so let's take the d-pads apart and look inside And also have some damages on the cable. So here we need some Phillips screws. There's a little bit of fluff inside. See here, it's also dirty. This is the original color, and you see it's a little bit yellow. PCB out. And I doesn't see any damages. The pads are a little bit dirty. But this could be on. Metal rod finish. Shoulder button. And take this on the side. We need two boxes and the one from this controller. That's also ah the sh one shoulder button is broken. One shoulder button is broken. I clean this and then we try to fix this. And you see, this is another PCB. This from 1990, and this from 1992. That's the older one. And you see here, 
this parts from PCBs for the shoulder buttons. This pad needs also be cleaned. But first we try to fix this shoulder button. Yeah, use hmm. Hmm. plastic welding. The glue is working. So, if we get lucky, this one is fixed. So, the screws are corroded. This little box. in and then we use white vinegar and so let's wait and in the meantime we clean the parts. And now let's clean the PCBs. Now the PCBs are clean and the next step is to retrobite the case. So now it's time for retrobiting the case parts of these Super Nintendo controllers and for this I use the same method like the uh, Super Nintendo Entertainment System. The link to this video I put in the description. Um, so you can watch this if you haven't seen. I use uh, a mix of uh, cream peroxide and water. Apply with a brush 
and then I lay it in the sun and if it dries I put uh, from this mix again and again and again um, since uh, the color I want or the maximum retro brighting is happened so So now it's all covered and now we take it in the sun. Now it's time for reassembly and we start with this controller. First controller is reassembled. You see the retro writing came out very nice and it looks great. So now we have this corner here that peels apart and we glue them down. A little bit of glue. So the glue has dried and now we're starting on the next one.
FSC. This one is also grey and not more yellow. A little bit of yellowing is staying here. But it's good to go. So I tried to um, fix this crack here in the cable. So now I have uh, one piece shrink, shrinking tube uh, around and I cut this in half, put this around, fold it, fold it, uh, overlap the ends like this. And then I use pliers to hold them and then I use hot air it, it open up a tiny bit but you can press it together and with uh, two parts you can fix this if you want to disassemble the, the connector or the connector in the D-pad. So now this one is fixed. I let them cool down and then we test both on the console. So all is connected and now ready to test. You see here is the, the uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo Entertainment System from my last video. So it's good to test and here we have the first D-pad and now let's start. You see Pad works. In this case, and now we test if we can play. The buttons are working. And so The first one is working and now we try the second. Out of the way. Use this one. And so also this one's work too. And now let's test it again. And as you see, this one works too. The broken uh, select and start button you have to press more concentrated. But it's worked also. So, done. We have finished the refurb of these two D pads. So, this is for this video. You see, the D pads came out very nice. Almost, the yellowing is almost gone. And so, um, now I have a fully refurbished Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And it's not that difficult, so you can do it on your own. And so, if you liked it, what you saw, um, like the video. And so, I see you on the next one. Bye!